Right now, the holiday travel rush is underway. Thousands of people are looking to be with family for Christmas. KION's Anna Terea live for us tonight at the San Jose International Airport. Anna, how are things looking out there? I can imagine busy all day. We do have a storm impacting people soon. Hey, good evening, Veronica. That's right. Things have been pretty busy here at San Jose International Airport. I'm here at the international side of the airport. Uh, this is the departure area just outside of where I'm at. There have been plenty of cars flowing in and out, dropping people off. And inside the terminal, I've seen plenty of people coming in, getting ready to check in for their flights. So I just want to step behind the camera and show you what things are looking like here at this part of the airport. So where you can see right there, this is the southwest counter. And I'm going to zoom in for you. This crowd has been getting bigger and bigger in the last hour that I've been here. People coming here to check in their bags, check in for their flights, some coming even extra early because they know about the winter storm impacts that are happening out east and midwest. A long line of cars are seen outside of the San Jose International Airport as people were dropped off to make sure they made their flights on time. Intense winter weather is impacting the East Coast and Midwest. Alex Lugo made sure to get here extra early. I got here two hours in advance just to make sure that if I do get any delays or my flight gets bumped up, I'm ready to be to, to actually jump on plane. Lugo is flying out to Texas to be with family. I'm looking forward to be united, like I said, on time with my family. It's all hands on deck at San Jose Airport. Crews making sure that things run smoothly. For our airline partners, concessionaires, partners, um, and, and in fact, even many of our airport uh, employees who do various functions for the airport have volunteered to be out in the terminals to help passengers throughout this time. So FlightAware.com is reporting more than 5,500 delays in or out of the U.S. for Thursday. It's also tracking more than 2,000 cancellations for this day. But here at San Jose Airport, airport reps tell me that most of the impacts they're seeing are for travelers who are heading to Chicago or St. Louis. But we certainly know that there are travelers who may be going beyond those cities um, and maybe connecting perhaps somewhere along the way um, who are impacted even though their flight out of San Jose may not be. For Santa Cruz local Cynthia McGregor, she's heading out to San Diego to be with family. The winter storm impacts also made her wonder if it would affect her trip. With what's going on in the Midwest, that I was wondering if uh, California would be affected, but it's on time. For McGregor, holiday travel is not too stressful. I don't like the feeling of being rushed. So when I get, when I check in, when I go through security, I relax. I'm done. Because she makes sure to give herself plenty of time. And if you're planning to head out either today or tomorrow, the airport says check your flights to make sure they haven't been canceled or delayed. And if you're bringing presents, the, air, the airport recommends that you have those presents unwrapped because TSA might need to check them. Reporting live in San Jose, Anna Torreya, KION News Channel 46. Thank you, Anna. Hopefully there are no long delays and no severe bumps along the way. AAA is estimating about 112 million people will be traveling from December 23rd to January 2nd. That's a 3.6 million increase compared to last year. And about that storm, it's all happening as this once in a generation storm surges through most of the U.S. It's threatening not just holiday travel plans in the skies, but drivers too. Places like Minneapolis, St. Paul region saw record snowfall on Wednesday while icy conditions led to this crash in Iowa. President Biden issuing a warning as temperatures across the central high plains submitted 50, plummeted rather, 50 degrees in just a few hours. Not like a snow day, you know, when you're a kid. You know, this is serious stuff. I got two sets of twins and we are staying at home. People living in the south also bracing for a rare hard freeze, making dangerous road conditions even worse for people. President Biden says his team has already been in contact with 26 governors in impacted regions. Now we're going to take a look at the weather conditions here at home. Weather Authority weather forecaster Eric.